Hello, this is Dan for Tech Digest and Shiny Shiny. I'm here today looking at the, well, we'll discuss the name in a minute, but what it is, it's a mobile internet dongle. Now, I don't know if you can see the name from there. Now, Duncan and I are discussing it. It's either the uh, Who Are We, or what I like is the Who Are We, uh, and it's the E176. Now, what I like about this is that it's non-network specific. Unlike most modems that you're going to get from uh, particular UK suppliers, this one obviously doesn't have a network associated, and the idea is, is you put your SIM card inside it. Into the top. So it doesn't matter what you've got, put your SIM in, in it goes, voila, you've got yourself some internet. Which is really quite neat. So if you've got unlimited data package, this is a really, really good thing. Unfortunately I don't, so I'm very, very sensitive with it. But uh, nonetheless, I've been enjoying trying it out over the last couple of weeks. Um, and I found it really damn good. It's both 3G and 2G, and it switches depending upon what it can pick up. The way it works is, I'll demonstrate here on this uh, Dell I've got in front of me. Plug it in. It's got all the software on already, and it'll prompt you to install it, and that does it very, very quickly indeed. Uh, you then... Where are we? You load up the app. There it is. It's quite hard doing it backwards. Hang on. Yeah, and then ask you for the pin. I'm not going to show you that bit. Uh, what you'd normally have to do is set up your network properly, like the APN settings. So it's not really something you can do uh, on the move uh, for the first time. Yeah, you have to make sure you've got the settings in there, which took me a little while to work out. Um, connect it up. Authenticates pretty quickly. As usual, there we go. Uh, and you get all the stats down here as well, telling you exactly what network you're on, HSPA and 3G network here, uh, and exactly what your uploading and downloading speeds are and what you've done, which is kind of good. At the same time, it's got all the information from your SIM as well. So you've got your phone book um, with all the addresses I've got on this. Uh, it's got all your SMS as well, um, which also means that actually you can send SMS messages as well as make voice calls through this as well. You might not necessarily want to because you've probably got a mobile phone too, but it means you're not going to lose out on whatever communications are coming through while your SIM card is stuck in your laptop. So the uh, blue light there indicates that you're on a 3G network. If you're on a 2G one, you get a green light, and when it's acquiring, it's flashing at you. Um, so you always know what sort of speeds to expect. You get download speeds of up to 7.2 megabits per second, upload at 5.76, not too bad at all. Uh, like I say, this setup is nice and easy, it's pretty clear what you're doing there. Um, there's no storage, which is a bit of a downer, well no native storage, because the good thing is that actually it comes with a little side panel where you can put your micro SD card in there. Now officially it supports up to an 8 uh, gigabyte micro SD. Of course we know there's bigger ones out there and I'm pretty sure it could do the job for that as well. Uh, it's got two antennas, so the idea is it's guaranteed to get a much better signal. It's got the master and the slave. Between them, hopefully, you're getting something good. Uh, it works on just about any operating system you've got, so that's XP, Vista. Uh, no word is Windows 7 just yet, but it does work on Mac OS, which is really quite handy. Um, I can't manage to track down the price, or I did somewhere, and it said it was 180 quid, which sounded like a hell of a lot to me. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was certainly beyond 100. I'm hoping it's a little bit less. Can't get hold of the PR this afternoon. But with any luck, I'll, uh, by the time this video goes up, I'll have a better message on that. But all in all, um, I thought this was really damn good. I was a little underwhelmed when I first read about it, but I'm, I'm impressed. Um, look out for it.